Welcome to the Alchemy of Ascension Season 5, Activating Star Seeds, Walk Ins, and the New Human of the Golden Age. I'm your host, Washayla Sananda, and today I have two very special guests, Joy Roby and Marilyn Harper. Welcome, Joy and Marilyn. Nice to be here. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us. Well, it is such a treat to have you. I'm so looking forward to this conversation today. Um, but first, I'd like to invite everyone to join us for a brief alignment session so we can really just get present for this amazing information that I know we're going to hear today. So if you're in a place where it's safe to close your eyes, just go ahead and start by closing your eyes deepening your breath into the belly. And as you're breathing, tune in to your heart center, making contact with the light in your heart. And now as you're breathing into that heart light, feel it growing and expanding. And now bring that light from your heart up through your crown, all the way up to central sun, making contact with the heart light of central sun, and then bringing that energy down into the top of your head, all the way down the spine, activating every energy center along the way, and continuing all the way down into central earth, making contact with the heart center of Mother Earth, and then bring that energy up into the base of the spine, up the spine into every energy center, breathing all of that energy now into your heart, creating a holy trinity of light from above, below, and within, and allow that light to bring you more presence, more focus, and more awareness so that you may receive whatever is in this conversation that is for your highest good today. And then one more deep breath and go ahead and come back, open your eyes. Thank you for joining me in that. And now I'm going to share a little bit about Marilyn and Joy. At first, it appeared as if the only thing that Marilyn Harper and Joy Roby had in common was a walk-in experience. Today, they form a divine partnership, deeply touched by Adiranda, a spokesbeing from the 17th dimension, who represents a council of archangels, galactics, and ascended masters. Marilyn Harper is the divine link for Adiranda and the Council of Light. For more than 22 years, Marilyn has delivered Adiranda's messages of love to a global audience of tens of thousands. She is a natural activator, awakening individual light bodies to resonate more light and love onto the planet. Artist turned serial entrepreneur Joy Roby has a passion for business, which she's been leaning into for over 30 years. Her focus is awakening people to a bigger picture of life while inspiring them in finding their purpose and launching their own magnificence. And Joy and Marilyn recently co-authored a brand new book called Double Digitology, Decoding the Messages of the Universe Through the Power of Numerology. So welcome, Joy and Marilyn. I'm so excited to jump in today. Um, interestingly, the last conversation I had, someone asked me, are you going to make sure and talk about what walk-ins are? Because there might be people who don't know. And you are the perfect people to share about that, considering you both have had a walk-in experience, which is just fascinating. So I'd love to start at the basics and just ask, what, in your opinion, is a walk-in? Well, <laughs> and her. Um, and it's interesting, over the past 20 or 30 years, walk-ins have actually transformed in their energy. Officially, a walk-in is a person who has actually had a soul exchange. That means the soul or being energy that was born into the human body no longer exists in the human body and another soul comes in to take their place in 19 no in 2006 
six to 17, 18, I believe, Cryon, um, uh, who is channeled by Lee Carroll, gave a whole rendition about the walk-ins as it was the same soul, only the walk-in soul is much more advanced, several generations more advanced, that is coming in to join the regular soul or the body. Um, the initial soul leaves and the new soul comes in to take their place. Now, in recent years, because with in the old in the olden days in the nineties, um, <laughs> uh, we it took about eight years to integrate totally as a walk in. And you know, honestly, uh, Washela, I would not have believed that it was possible unless it happened to me and her. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it's it's just kind of one of those things that it's like, <laughs> how can that possibly be? But it was. I mean, I went into the hospital as one person and came out as another. Um, and with that now, um, it is more of a composite, uh, meaning the higher self comes in to join the regular self. So there's not such a long integration period. That may have been what happened to you. Well, I think, first of all, you have to kind of back way up and go into the belief system that we're all one, right? We all share this oneness. So I like to look at it like we're all a bunch of, we're in this chemical suit or this meat suit or whatever you want to call it, but we all share this energetic space. We overlap. And so um, I think what Marilyn is saying about the soul integrating with you know, a higher being, which is what um, Cryon has described it as, is is just is kind of a linear way of looking at it because it's very it's a very multi dimensional experience. And I know for Marilyn, and maybe because it happened 20, 1993 to to almost two decades before it happened to me, um, it was a little bit different of an experience. But the, the thing that I will say about walk-ins that your audience might relate to is you don't really know it happened. Like everybody else is looking at you like, what happened to you? You know, but as the walk-in, you know, you don't really know it happened. It's just you had like, it was like a line in the sand and everything changed. But for, for you, it was, it's sort of like a backwards remembering because you go like for me I was um, a graphic designer and I used Adobe Photoshop all the time and when I opened it up the software application I didn't know how to use it I'd been using it for 20 years I'm like asking the most basic of questions for Marilyn she had done counter um, cross stitch counted cross counted stitch. cross stitch for decades and she suddenly couldn't do it you know right. so it's things like that that um, that make you start to go. Maybe something happened. So there's a complete there's a difference between a complete soul exchange and the composite. I believe we had a complete soul exchange, even though your integration period was probably shorter than my inter. But you know, if we stopped and thought about that you had some major transformational experiences just in the past two years or three years yeah yeah and so it might have been that integration yeah it could very well be i know adironda the council that marilyn channels um they say that they handpicked marilyn and then they handpicked me <laughs> and what's so interesting is that the two of us Never, ever would have met. I mean, I was from Los Angeles. I was um, executive vice president of marketing. Marilyn was in Branson, Missouri, selling country radio um, ads. Actually, at that time, I was selling hotel rooms hotel in rooms. Branson, Missouri. <laughs> and yeah, and so when um, when when it when it happened again, we were almost ten years apart to the day. It's it's bizarre. <laughs> we. It was, it, we were almost 10 years apart from the time I started channeling until uh, I encountered Joy. And it was, what, 17 or 18 years from when I walked in. Yeah. You walked in. 
Yeah. Did we answer so. your question? I think <laughs> we tend to go, we, we're, we get very much like squirrels. <laughs> well, that's okay. No, I, I, I love it. And there's, you know, it's a big, it's a lot to, to unpack. So we're not done, but yes, <laughs> you answered my question there. Of what is a walk-in? So um, we, you know, as you bring up Adiranda, I, I'm curious how, now I realize that's channeled, a channeled consciousness, um, but how does a walk-in experience differ from a channeling experience? Can you unpack that a little bit? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, mm -hmm. let me think about that. You know, that's a great question, Washela. It's um, uh, because as the walk-in, it was like, you know, I had no idea what had happened. I felt like I didn't know if I had a stroke. I didn't know. I had no idea why I suddenly couldn't do the same things that I could do before. When I was channeling, um, I after I woke up in 1996 to what a walk-in was and started myself on a spiritual pathway, after that happened, that was when I um, really started asking to be all that I am. I, I worked on strengthening my intuition. I worked on, on strengthening all of my new innate abilities because I knew that with the walk-in that comes, and this is across the board. This is, you know, one of the ways that you can tell if you're a walk-in is if all of a sudden you feel like you have new skills and, and new abilities that you didn't necessarily have before and some of the ones that you did have before you don't have now <laughs> well and also you can't do anything out of integrity right. not to say that we were really out of integrity before but all of a sudden our focus had to be around shifting the planet and helping humanity that that's a, a consistency in a walk-in is they have a burning desire to really make a difference on the planet and and help the planet shift into the next dimensional realm, which is what we're all kind of doing right now. And um, with that energy, I didn't realize at the time that I was volunteering to connect with a being from the 17th dimension at Aranda and a council of light. I just asked that, you know, I volunteered. I said, I go anywhere, I'll do anything, I'll say anything, as long as you can prove to me that your source moving through me. And that was the signal that the universe, I guess, needed to match my energy with Adiranda's energy in the 17th dimension. And it's like, that fact itself blows my mind. I don't know about you all, but, <laughs> but it's uh, the channeling. I consciously step aside and allow Adiranda and the Council of Light to come through. And you had mentioned the possibility as to whether you wanted that to happen on this. We're completely open, of course, and whatever, you're the driver, so whatever you want, you get. But in the, in the walk-in, the, the channeling, Adiranda was not a part of the walk-in. Um, so in the walk-in, it's like I had no clue what was going on. I had no conscious realization that that was even possible. In the channeling, I focused on raising my vibration to match that of my own guidance system. And, and so that's what happened. And then somehow, not realizing that's what I was doing, I... Um, at night would uh, leave my body and go into the 17th dimension. Uh, and there's actually about 144 dimensions, possibly 152 now, um, 144 dimensions. And that was the dimension that Adiranda is actually would call being from. And that's where our two energies encountered each other. And I have learned all of this through people asking Adiranda, because I'm a trance channel, I get out of the way and allow the information to come through. And so, um, does that answer your question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, it's so interesting. Um, thank you for unpacking that. 
And Joy, do you have um, anything to add or do you want to share any more about one of the things like the, the, the kind of tidbits that I find so interesting is that you really became d- a different person, but it sounds like you still had access to your previous memories for the most part. I mean, did you remember your family and your friends and things like that? And did your relationships change? Yeah, that's what's so strange about it is that when when I walked in, I didn't realize that spirituality wasn't universally accepted and that everybody didn't believe in ETs. <laughs> so when I walked in, I was it was like I had discovered all of this stuff and I sat down with my kids and my family and anybody would listen to me and it, within about a month I realized that that was a really good way of having someone commit you to some kind of mental hospital if you didn't watch out, you know? And so I kind of had to learn to back off and, um, and I became more of an observer. But when I first walked in, I was just like, I could not get enough. I could read a two inch book in like three nights. I, I had new skills. Like I was just absorbing information. Um, but the time that I realized the way it worked for me with memory was I may not have the memory right away. Like the time I realized it was a, uh, about a year in and my husband at the time had, it, we were decorating the Christmas tree and my husband at the time had come up to me and he showed me this glass heart that, the, you know, on a, an ornament, the top will break off and then you can't hang it, right? And so he showed it to me to show me that the top was broken off. And when he brought it to me, it was an ornament that he had given us like when we first got married. And, you know, bless his heart, because he went through all of this with me. He's like, really, he, he should be commended for that, <laughs> definitely. Um, but he brought it up to me and he was showing me the heart. And I remember looking at it, it didn't mean anything to me. And um, he, he showed it to me and he said, you don't remember. And at this point, I had learned that I have to be really careful about how I respond to what I say, because people would get very hurt. And he knew I didn't remember and he was really hurt. But an interesting thing happened. Within about three to five minutes, the memory starts rushing in because the the cellular memory is in the body. So even though I may not have had immediate access, I learned in that experience that I could tap back into, I may not get it right away, but I could tap back into um, that. And then The other interesting thing that happened to both of us, this happened years on, for me, it was probably about five or six years later. And for Marilyn, it was like 10 or 15. But what happened was we started accessing the skills that we had before, you know, like I was, I was a marketer, you know, I did technology. And what happened for me was I had more advanced technology skills, which was really weird. But I needed the other skills for now. I, it was so amazing. I just have to interrupt. When you say the <laughs> skills, I can remember watching this person who made her living doing a graphic art for in art programs on the computer before she walked in. I remember watching her look for several minutes to figure out how to change the font <laughs> on in the program that she'd been using. And yet she could watch as a new, as a walk-in, she could watch a video on, on how to make something really complicated online and just knew how to do it. <laughs> yeah. That part is, I can't explain it. You know, you're obviously accessing, you know, some other part of yourself. Yeah. Wow. That's so interesting. Um, Marilyn, you said something, you said uh, that you had your walk-in before you woke up. So that must have been pretty confusing if you... (laughs) you It was horrible. (laughs) I I had no idea what had happened. I was not metaphysical. I was selling advertising at the time for a country Western radio station. So I was in a very real physical world. And, and I was, I had just completed the coursework on my master's in theater and performance art. And I was writing my thesis and I, uh, to, and 
And all of a sudden, I mean, I had complications following a surgery and came out of the hospital not having the writing skills. I mean, if you read my writing even now, it sounds like a, a grade school person. Well, it sounds like English as a second language. Right. It's like my syntax. The words are in the wrong order. And, um, and I, it, was, it was awful. I, I can remember, you know, stomping my fist and yelling at God saying, what happened? Where am I? I mean, I used to, my walkout would go dancing and partying and drinking any place, anytime, any place, anywhere. My walk-in just wanted to stay home and, and do, you know, meditate or write or journal or just stay home. And it's like, I lost a lot of friends <laughs> and, and I didn't realize what had happened for about two and a half years. And, and when I was ready, I learned what had happened. So, uh, and it made perfect sense. And that was actually a December of uh, 1995. So I really counted as 1996 uh, because I actually confirmed that that was what happened in 96. So it, it, it was very confusing to realize that the relationship to my family had changed. Uh, my brother was like two feet from me when I went to visit him and he didn't recognize me. Now, it wasn't that my physical appearance changed, but my energetic imprint changed. Uh, and I felt connected to them, my family, but not, not in the same way that I was connected again before. You know, it, it, was, it, was very, it was very strange. And for Joy, pulling up those memories, like she was talking about, I, I used to, my walkout had an amazing memory. She could say, you know, so in 1957, when we took that picture in Colorado, I was wearing this and this and this and this. And all of a sudden, I didn't have any of that. But like you could feel for me, because I'm a little older school. <laughs> Rolodex. <laughs> yeah, going through a Rolodex of memories. I could feel in my brain going through that Rolodex of memories. Oh, that's the memory that's coming up. And so um, it, it's, the only thing is that I didn't ever get the memory back for writing. <laughs> yeah, and I was a vegetarian for 25 years. Um, you know, my kids were raised vegetarian and when it, it's, I met Marilyn about eight months after it happened. So for me, Adironda likes to say she was on the scenic route and I was on the direct path <laughs> because when I came in, it was like, boom, I just started learning so much. But I remember, you know, my kids had gone to college and they came home for Christmas and I sat, you know, we went out to eat and I ordered a burger and they were like, oh my God, what happened to mom? Like that, that was the first time that they went, something is very different here. Hmm. Wow. What an interesting thing. You know, it, that's, that's just gotta be incredibly fascinating for everybody involved. So thank you for sharing all the details of, you know, I'm sure we could go on, but <laughs> a little bit more information for people who are wondering how it all works. And I know every situation is different. So everyone's going to have their own experience if they have a walk-in. Um, well, I'd love to pivot a little bit. And Marilyn, I think you said we were able to talk to Adiranda. Is, is that an option? <laughs> they're, they're here. <laughs> they're, yes, absolutely. They're like, we want to tell about the walk-in. <laughs> yeah, I would love, I would love that. And I'd also love Adiranda's perspective on the whole new human. Um, what is the new human all about? And if, you know, if he's willing or they're willing. Absolutely. And the way they work is they do answer questions. And so, okay. and if you have any kind of a, a time frame, <laughs> as I just looked at my watch earlier and I thought, okay, so uh, um, <laughs> we'll see if we have any kind of a time frame. They don't, they don't operate in time and space. So. <laughs> <laughs> but they're very good at watching a clock. If you tell them how long. <laughs> so, okay, well, we have 30 minutes um, and, you know, it's not the end of the world for me if we go over, but I want to respect your time. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> can we do that? Absolutely. We can do whatever you wish. Wonderful. I know that you can already feel that they're, <laughs> they're here. <laughs> they're definitely here. So let me just get all the way out of the way. Ah, so it is good day to you, huh? Oh, 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 oh. We can push you off of the chair, huh? <laughs> it is so good to see you. It is so good to see each one of you who are watching this divine interaction with the divine Washela. You know, Washela, um, we introduce ourselves. Our name is Adirond, and we bring with us an entire council of beings of light that are in your favor, in your work, in your energy, in your player, in your play plus work equals player, of course. And in that frequency, you are a messenger for the new human. You are a messenger for the new connection of this age. You know, the earth itself has shifted its dimensional frequency. It's shifted its dimensional reality and that the own innate abilities, the, the energy that was buried within the human form is now raising to the surface to be tickled to be expanded to be acknowledged and you are one of those messengers that are helping people connect to their own higher self their own ancestry and the new innate abilities that have lain dormant within them for maybe millennia and thousands, millions of year for some. And as you are that being, it is interesting that you tap into the star seed. It is interesting that you tap into the walk-in phenomena. It is interesting that you tap into the, the energy of this new frequency that this planet Earth is coming through. Uh, we hold our purpose here is to hold each individual in total and complete, infinite love. In the older times, when we first entered into this dimension with the vessel Marilyn, we had that frequency of holding people in unconditional love. And we wish for you to realize that every thought, every heart-centered Twitter that comes through your heart going into your brain is an initial purchase order to the universe to accept. So when you say unconditional love, that takes the word love and starts it with a negative connotation of un. And so some energies believe that the negative connotation, like if you say, I do not want this, the universe sort of leaves ignores that do not want and so they give you what you do not want so that is why many years ago we changed from unconditional love to infinite love so just take a deep breath and feel that frequency of infinite love pouring through you through your heart through your resonance through your field You see, our vessel Marilyn was an activator. She is an activator. What we do and came on the scene for is to activate that energy within all that we encounter. So we are honored by your presence, by your connection, dearest divine Washela, and understand that you are tapping the universe, you are tapping individuals in this world on the shoulder and say, hey, you get to wake up now. And it is time to step into who you indeed truly are. You understand what we say? Oh, just good to see you. <laughs> this see is you. the joy. You know the joy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you, Adiranda. That's beautiful. And my name, the meaning I originally got as unconditional love, but I said, no, that's not quite right. So it's divine love for uh, the same perfect. reason. Perfect. You see, you see how the language over the past years have 
shifted in the way you are thinking and feeling about this world that you are experiencing. You see, there was a huge shift, as you know, before 2012. Well, there was many shifts, the 18, 1987, 2001, blah, 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 all that. But recently, in the past two or three years, humans have been asked to go inside and really seek those answers inside as you did your name. So divine love is a much better description of who you are than unconditional love. You see the difference, yes. And we, we know you see that because you shifted that frequency of your name. Huh? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Um, I would love for you to share, there are so many people waking up and activating and becoming aware of their special intuitive gifts, their new human gifts. Is there a way uh, that we can activate this more fully as humans? Ah, yes. You know, the new human, the new earth, the new energy on this planet is this is the only time in the history of everything that a planet has actually shifted its dimensional frequency and its inhabitants remain intact. They remain, they do not become extinct for that shift to occur. So and you might think that we're becoming extinct with everything that is going on in this world, but you're not. You are reorganizing. You are restructuring. Actually, you're not restructuring because to restructure means that you're doing something again that was done before. You are in a new frequency. So you are structuring anew. You are, there is no foundation for where you as humans are going, which is why sometimes you just get to, as you say, close your eyes and, and breathe into the newness of whatever presents and then say yes to that. You see, in the, the new human, the new energy, the strands of DNA and science will probably come out with some proof of this in the next few years, but the strands of DNA of the human has actually changed. There are more, you, in the past, there's been two strands of DNA with the double helix that is going through the body. And a, a few years ago, we began seeing a third strand of that DNA and even a, a ghost print of a fourth strand of DNA. And that is the new human. Now, science, we don't think that they have proven this yet, but it's only a matter of time. They're actually studying the energy that the humans are putting out. And as people are awakening, all people must awaken, not just the um, metaphysical or the spiritual groups, all people, because with that awakened sense, that is how the entire planet acknowledges the shift of dimension and as they are then it becomes that that world of peace then it becomes that world of divine love of infinite love that the light plurkers uh, play plus work equals plurk light plurkers on this planet experience that is one of the things that the vessel Marilyn and the joy teach in everything is possible their plurk shop that they've got coming up soon and so in that energy in that that focus of of acknowledging that each person has new innate abilities the new energies they all of a sudden it seems like they're awakening and to themselves. And that is a beautiful thing. You know, you cannot sleep within yourself or be dormant within yourself for only a matter of a length of time. You must, well, it is a choice, but you, people are choosing to awaken to the new earth, uh, the new human, the new frequency of this planet, even beings that have no idea 
what is going on, have no clue about metaphysics or channeling or blah, 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 all of the new energy that is coming through. Even those people are awakening with a sense that, that something is new and different in their lives and they begin seeking, they begin searching. And the best place to search would be to Google alchemy of ascension and there you go. <laughs> then the answers are right there. So with that energy, that is why the universe, the source, God, if you would, sends messengers such as yourself and such as the vessel Marilyn and the joy to connect with individuals and to connect with people that are in the awakening process. Because the planet, most the peoples of this planet must start taking care of the planet and its inhabitants, meaning the inhabitants are not just people. The inhabitants are the rocks, the trees, the plants, the air, the fish, the animals, the turtles, the, the all beings on this planet is a part of that awakening process. And the caretaking is left up to the humans that are uh, here. It is interesting that we don't believe that in the beginning of language that someone said, oh, we think we're going to call the people of this planet human because Hugh is the name of God. Hugh, yes. And man is the name of, of one part as in the energy of a connection of many things so when you have man that becomes many and so and actually it is humani and that became humanity so you see the difference and you add that i in there for humanity and that connects you to the new energy of source and connects you to the new energy of the inhabitants that are much wider than the human that was placed here on this planet. And we got into a little- Wow, that's new, new information. New information. Uh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> yes. Mm, that's beautiful. Thank you. And so this sounds like the embodied ascension in humanity. Yes? Yes, it is the, the embodied ascension. As you say, you know, the embodied ascension has so many different connotations to it. And so, so many people are saying, well, we want to ascend. Well, if you ascend, you no longer have your body. So in that energy, the alchemy of that, the, the chemical interplay in the human form is raising its vibrational frequency and yet still maintaining the human form, which is what you define as ascension, correct? Yes, yes. And so we understand that. And in that chemical connection, um, that, that is wh where those different strands of DNA come from. Where the, if you were to start testing the human body, well, they already have started. They're just holding it in secret because they don't know what that means. Uh, they're finding new energy within the human, within the new babies that are coming in. And even with the human that has been here for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, more than a year. And so in that energy, they're discovering nuances. They're discovering scientific proof that there is a new frequency operating in the human form. You know, the uh, Master Yeshua told us years ago that the humans can actually uh, heal themselves, but the humans are actually just not getting it. <laughs> and that is, that is good because the time is now to realize the power of your own heart and the connection with the electrical frequency that humanity human i t put out and that is the new energy of the new earth and just as science is proving 
dimensional frequencies. They've got up to 13 or 14 dimensions now. They will continue with that as well. And the, the same is happening with the um, study of the uh, human DNA. Hmm. Does that answer your question? <laughs> yes, thank you. So as we are ascending our frequency and activating our DNA as humanity, what will humans or what are humans capable of? Ah, what is that infinite love? Everything is possible. <laughs> everything. <laughs> that is why the vessel Marilyn and the joy created everything is possible because there is truly no limit. Many humans remember what it was like to teleport, remember what it was like to, to move objects with their mind, what it is like to think of a thought. And that is beginning to happen now in conscious reality. Huh? So the realm of possibilities is infinite. There, with intention, with it's even, even the word intention now, has become too limiting for the frequency that is being radiated out from the human heart. Now, you understand intention is about that thought form that is going out and creating something in the world, manifesting. That is, no, is now uh, old-fashioned. <laughs> that is now a part of the free, the old world. Now it is about that heart centered energy that is radiating beyond that you as a human may not even be able to put words to it. But you have a feeling that you wish to create you have a feeling that you wish to live in you have a feeling that you wish to wake up with and go to sleep with every day that is your manifesto that is your creative source and that is not up here up here is the part that sort of gets in the way sometimes down here in your heart center that is that creative energy that is why there are so many light plackers right now that are actually having a difficult time with their own physical heart because their heart is getting all kinds of signals from all sorts of different directions. And in that, it is a matter of settling into the divinity that is you and feeling into everything being possible. And that is when the universe says, okay, we've got the purchase order, we're going to put into action. And that is what is happening right now. And it is exciting to watch from us who are not from this earth or this dimension that the earth is presently in, because the energy as it is coming through is coming through in such a, a magnanimous way that it is, it is exciting to see beings like you, beings like the joy, beings like the vessel Marilyn that are opening the doorway. And it's not just cracking it open so you can see a little trail of light coming through. It is like, ah, ah, <laughs> perfect timing, eh? Mm -hmm. It is like, woohoo, open the door wide and allow the flood of light beings that mm -hmm. are awakening on, on this planet. So we must thank you. Mm -hmm. We must thank you. And to understand that each of you are a part of that awakened energy. Ah, dearest, so we don't know if we should go on or whether we should stop, but we are here for you. Mm, that was beautiful. Um, I, I would love to have you go on and I want to respect everybody's time. So would you, do you have a final thought that you'd like to leave us with? Uh, oh, yes. Dearest beings of light that you are, anyone who sees this in the future, in the present, or in the vast future as these things go on forever, huh? We want you to stop 
worrying about what planet you came from, what ascension you are in, what level you are. Be here right now. For that infinite love is what you have are capable of radiating to the rest of the planet. And as you do, this planet and all of humanity will shift. Then you will care for the plants and the trees and the vegetables and the things that grow, the animals, the fish, the uh, all levels of humanity as you know who you are. It is much easier for you to be the love that you are. And we love you deeply. We see you, we know you, and we are always with you. And we bid you namaste. Mm, namaste. Thank you. <laughs> now, Marilyn doesn't know what was said. <laughs> She has, she, has, she has kind of an inkling of what was just said, but um, she's, she's, she's back there when she's channeling Adoranda. It's so fast. The switch is, I've, yeah. had, I've had other channels that, you know, it takes some time to, to bring that, that transition. Um, yours is just so instant. It's amazing. Incredible. Well, um, it's not always been like that. Uh, I, I attribute that to Lee Carroll <laughs> because Lee Carroll would put us on stage and say, okay, you've got 10 minutes. You're going to take five and I'm going to take 10. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I had to get out of the way fast. And then as soon as we finished, I had to get off my stool and, and go work at the table. <laughs> and so uh, it, it, and Adironda is always present, but um, the transformation, you can feel the transformation in the energy. Mm -hmm. And I know with joy. I can feel them when they're here. I knew they were here. Yeah. And it, it's, it's so different. And, you know, we've had a lot of people that, that say, well, why does Adironda sound different than you do? Why do you look different? Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, Adironda who's, is who Adironda is. That, you know, they say, if you don't like the way we channel, go find yourself a new channel. <laughs> 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 I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for bringing Adaranda through and for all that you've shared. I do want to make sure we have time to share. You have some special things to offer. One is a free gift uh, for all of the viewers, which is double uh, your double digit bundle. Would you share a little bit about that? Either of you? Yeah. yeah. Our double digit bundle is every month we do a program um, called the double digits and it's based upon the double digit of the month. So 1-1, one, 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 11, 2-2, two, two, 2 22. although we don't do it twice a month, but 3-3, three, 4-4, three, four, four. we have a, um, a pre-recorded streamed program that we do that um, features myself and Marilyn and also our composer, Randy Luna, where we, he plays piano and does an activation. It's really we're very proud of it. It's a really amazing program. We've been doing it. Marilyn's been doing it for since uh, nine, nine of 2009. Yeah. Be, before I joined Marilyn and we've been doing it together ever since. And we have um, a lot of people that join us and we wanted to invite your audience to join us now, because this is being pre-recorded and released um, later, we're going to say that you're invited to April, but whenever you listen to this program, you can go and you can um, get on the list to get the invitation for the next double digit. So um, that's our gift to you. That's normally $33. And we're also giving away with that a download, a PDF download of, of our new book called Double Digitology, which is um, numerology <laughs> according to Adiranda. <laughs> And it's, it's really fascinating because Adiranda um, has, has a really interesting way of doing numerology. It's all based upon what the numbers look like. It ends up being very similar to other forms of numerology, but it's a little more practical, I think. Um, and so we've written this book. I interviewed Adiranda 
for all of the numbers. And Marilyn and I carefully went through it along with a lot of other people. <laughs> so we're giving away a, uh, the PDF download of that. And that's all free. That's to whoever would like it. And you want to talk about the other package? Yes, we have another package as I'm coming back in my body. <laughs> <laughs> I just look like I'm here. Um, but, um, it's called, uh, I have to look and see. Um, oh, tapping into your innate abilities. You know, the, this, this year, 2022, is a year of connecting with new ideas, connecting with new frequencies, actually giving birth to yourself again, according to Adiranda, and laying down that new foundation. So we, you know, went inside and asked, well, what, what is it that we've got that would best serve people? And we created a course. Uh, it was created live and it was video. It was um, audio taped. So we then created the course called Tapping Into Your Innate Abilities. And basically what it does is in that you'll learn the five innate ab abilities for remote viewing, Akashic Records, uh, interdimensional manifestation, wellness, several things. You'll actually walk away from that having uh, more benefits of the ability to heal yourself and your life. Uh, you'll have more uh, expanded activation abilities to channel or bring in messages from your higher self. And this entire course it encompasses creative visualization and you learn to experience the dimensional frequency of your body to activate the energy that is within you into the new dimensional realm, into the new human. Um, you'll also receive an energetic download with Adiranda and it's called um, tapping into your innate abilities and that normally sells for, I think, 400 and some dollars on our website and you can have it for only 199 da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> and it includes the double digit that, uh, the one the first package, double, the yeah. first package and the double digitology download. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And thank you for your generosity for everything you've shared. Um, I loved hearing from the Adiranda as well. So this was just a magical session. Thank you. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, Adiranda, all so very much. I appreciate you. Thank you, Rochelle. Thank you, yeah. Rochelle. Thank you, you for what you're doing. Yes, you're doing great work. Yeah. yeah. Great my, work. my pleasure. Great work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really is my pleasure. Thank you to everyone watching. Thank you for joining us and have a wonderful day. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.